beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercies of Jesus Christ, come on, that you present your bodies and live in sacrifice, which is holy and acceptable to God. Now, how many did we need? I know Moses wrote Leviticus, be ye holy for I'm holy. But that's in Leviticus. We ain't got any That's old, you know. That's how I'm old. Wow. But Peter, the one that preached the first New Testament message of the blood of Jesus Christ, he writes in the book of Peter, be ye holy for I am holy. Come on, so that's in the New Testament too. Now then we get to the back. What's holy and what's unholy? You know? And that, that's, people, people's made that a great debate. And uh, they want to constitute everything. Everything is holy. And pretty much ain't nothing that holy. You know? I, I, I was just kind of thinking of it this way. I'd say each and every one of us knows somebody that we get in real trouble. We want them to pray for us. Come on. How I many know somebody? You know, I don't know about you, but I ain't never going to ask nobody to bore to pray for me. Amen. That's right. I know they're unholy. We, you know, we, uh, women, they look for, they, they, they look for some woman uh, got a uh, dress decent, woman got a long skirt, got long hair, and you can just, sometimes you can just see God on them. You look for a man that he's got integrity. He's, he's not running around telling a bunch of lies. He's not, he's not one chasing women. He's not full of lust and deceit. We look for those things, don't we? And when we see those things, we mark them as a man and woman of God. And that's what you want.